Welcome to everyone. So this is a simplefinancesupport.com presentation on SAP S4 HANA simplifications. We we'll look at uh, simplifications in the area of finance. SAP is redesigning uh, its uh, business suite to meet different requirements. So the current requirements are such such as like in-memory technology. So Pretty much all the databases are becoming in-memory databases, uh, meaning that uh, the real-time analytics are possible now with the huge um, the amount of data uh, being processed in the memory itself. And then uh, Internet of Things are coming up, meaning that all the devices in the world are getting connected. Uh, businesses, consumers, uh, products are getting connected. So that uh, the keeping that in the mind, SAP is redesigning its products. And uh, big data uh, with the social media integration and interoperability of UI, such as desktop and uh, smart devices uh, using the Fury applications and uh, mobile orientation pretty much uh, for any design which uh, is being developed and uh, uh, the business networks particularly vendor customer integration with banks and customers and employees so the integ business integration is going to happen so all the products uh, the new products which are being offered uh, will take this into consideration and then uh, the final objective is that sap wants to offer all its products all its business suite uh, which includes erp products and the CRM product as well as uh, SCM products uh, to be offered as a you know, software as service and uh, one of the area if you think of uh, SAP uh, HCM is being shifted into success factor so pretty much success factor is a SaaS based solution and uh, the OLTP and OLEP systems uh, which are you know convergence is taking place meaning the entire analytics are going to sit on your transaction processing system itself. So keeping all this in mind they are redesigning and they are simplifying their business process. So the processes which evolved over a period of four decades, 40 years are being redesigned and being simplified to meet all these requirements. So let's look at uh, you know what is one area which is like you now as a simplification which is being offered so for example master data which is a business partner if you look at this list of transaction codes um, you can easily figure out there is huge number of transaction codes which are used for maintaining your customer and vendor for example fd01 fd02 fd03 and so on are used for creating the customer and changing or maintaining or de displaying the customer at the same time uh, for the vendors you, know, you are having fk series so k for cus uh, vendor and d for d for customer so like that you know you have customer and vendor maintenance at company code level at general level as well as at uh, at uh, sales area or purchase organization level so like that if in order to maintain this customer and vendor at this point of time there are many many transaction codes which are used okay so what sap is doing uh, to to simplify all this creation so sap is coming up with only one trans transaction code which is bp right so the bp is also already there which is their business partner which is used for um, uh, certain modules such as uh, dispute management, collection management, rate management and so on. So but uh, going forward entire customer and vendor maintenance would be done by only single transaction code which is BP. So create, change, display centrally you will be doing. So that is what S4 HANA simplification means. Okay. So if the simplification is pretty much is eliminating all these transaction codes which were used so far and coming up with one simple transaction 
to use all this functionality so the entire functionality is embedded into one transaction code itself so this way it is standardized uh, the, the maintenance is you know simple and uh, you know there will not be any confusion of creating you know multiple places multiple areas and you know some of the transaction codes are very very redundant so what are the implications of this simplification that we are offering so let us look at if it is a sap new implementation what happens it's it's a very simple model to adapt and they don't require to worry about what transaction codes were used earlier because it's a new implementation so they start with bp itself so it's like nothing to be discussed there because the business partner is going to be their primary area and uh, to start with so whereas look at sap migration projects so migration projects like uh, you know the customers are expecting that next several years you know these migration projects are going to have huge impl implications so uh, different customers of sap having this sap product in you know, a different versions for example you know sap as uh, like some of the customers are still with like you no know, old versions sap 46c and uh, then you know they migrated into the new versions with the new gl new general ledger and they integrated with you know many many other areas right so keeping all that in in the context if if you are migrating from a particular version of sap to the new s4 hana version so for the vendors and customers you need to redesign your entire you know thought process around how this master data is maintained maybe you will you know think of using um, like mdm or centralized uh, you know mdg or mdm kind of products so when they are going to look at these migration projects they have to analyze what are the custom code which are developed around these you know vendors and customers right so all the rise of objects which are there will change and also the external system which are integrated with the vendors and customer uh, will do will have some implications do have implications and then the new configuration will come into the picture so the simplification that we are talking of will enforce to you know have all this um into consideration and then you know sap projects for you know even though it is simple from the business perspective going forward to reach that simplification you know it's a huge complex projects they have to you know, undertake like you know preparing preparing that entire you know system uh, landscape and uh, system the version landscape and you know some customers some sap customers operate globally and they have heterogeneous systems meaning like you know one country they may be having sap ecc5 other country they may be having ecc uh, 6.0 and you know other some other countries may be even as old as uh, 46c or in earlier versions okay so taking all that into consideration uh, when they are you know going to go for this migration into sap uh, s4 projects uh, they have to relook into their uh, existing portfolio and then redesign the customers and vendors and then accordingly they have to synchronize this data and start the conversion project and you know be ready for the next level of uh, next level of the business process implementations like you know then you have a lot of post processing uh, uh, things to check you know how the other other systems are impacted and you know you have to assess these impl implications and uh, take up these projects so again you know simplification definitely this is you know simplifying but again when it comes to the uh, project implementation it is definitely complex complex uh, Im impacts thanks for watching and uh, look for more uh, presentations and please visit uh, you know simply simplefinancesupport.com for your uh, you know these presentations on simplifications in s4 hana versions